NBA player Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested in a Manhattan hotel for domestic assault. Porter was arrested, accused of beating up his girlfriend at a New York City hotel last month. Ladies and gentlemen, he should be injured. Kevin Porter Jr.'s NBA journey might have taken a drastic detour, or let's be real, maybe it's hit a dead end. The recent trade that has left him out in the cold is more than just your typical trade. It's about a young man and a journey that's taken a dark turn. We saw the signs and the warnings. They were all too clear. It's not about the game anymore, it's about a pattern of troubling behavior that's caught up with him. The recent events have peeled back the curtain, revealing a young man causing harm not only to himself, but also to others as well. This trade on the surface seemed like just another shuffling of players, a mere blip on the NBA radar. But oh boy, there's more to it than meets the eye. The Oklahoma City Thunder, swift and decisive, swooped in to acquire Porter from the Houston Rockets, only to cut ties with him instantly. Stick around as this is a story that goes beyond the game. It's a story about decisions and consequences. Let's not shy away from the truth, Let's talk about it. Kevin Porter Jr. is facing a career crisis. This trade and the legal troubles surrounding him have thrown his future into question. The Rockets traded him to the Thunder, a major move considering his potential and skills, and due to his ongoing legal issues, the Thunder immediately decided to waive him, making him a free agent. The incident that has Porter Jr.'s career on the line is deeply concerning. Back in September 2023, he had a serious arrest in New York. He was accused of assaulting and strangling his girlfriend, Kaiser Gondrzic, who used to play in the WNBA. After his arrest, Porter was released on a hefty $75,000 cash bail, but with strict orders to stay away from Gondrzic. Recent developments in the case have shed some light on the legal front. Prosecutors decided to drop a second-degree assault charge against him due to what they deemed as insufficient evidence. However, he's still facing serious accusations of second-degree strangulation and third-degree assault. During a recent court appearance, Mira Kurzer, an assistant district attorney in Manhattan, mentioned that a plea deal was offered for the lower third-degree assault charge. However, Porter chose not to accept it, and this deal included mandatory counseling as a condition. If convicted, Porter could potentially face a daunting maximum sentence of seven years behind bars. Porter's history. Now, Porter's off-the-court issues didn't just pop up out of nowhere. We're taking it back to his freshman season at USC in 2019. He got suspended indefinitely during the Trojans' trip to play against Oregon State in Oregon. The reason? Undisclosed conduct issues. USC's head coach, Andy Enfield, had no other choice but to make that tough call. He said at the time, the last thing you want to do as a head coach is suspend any of your players, but when there's conduct issues, we have no choice. But here's the twist. Porter sat out for only two games before Enfield reinstated him. He returned just in time to help the Trojans secure a massive win over Arizona, but his performance declined, causing him to drop from a top pick to 30th in the NBA draft, selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Troubles Cleveland wasn't exactly a smooth ride for Porter either. Even before training camp started, he was accused of punching a woman in downtown Cleveland. The police report also stated that he ripped off her weave. And if that wasn't enough, a few months later, he got into a car crash and was charged with improper firearm handling in a car. Luckily, those charges were eventually dropped. But hold on, because there's more. Porter's locker room meltdown came next, all because his locker was moved after a new player arrived. This led to an argument with Kobe Altman. It got intense, and he was traded to the Rockets for a draft pick. Now, Houston gave Porter a new start, and on the court, he's been making strides. He has been averaging 17 points and 6 assists per game over the last three seasons. But, and it's a big but, his off-court behavior continued to raise eyebrows. Back in April 2021, the NBA slapped Porter with a hefty $50,000 fine. Why, you ask? Well, he breached the league's COVID-19 health and safety regulations by hitting up a Miami strip club. But it didn't stop there. Things got heated when he and his teammate, Sterling Brown, got into a heated altercation with some other fellas in the parking lot. Fast forward to January 2022, and Porter found himself suspended by the Rockets. His then-coach, Steven Silas, revealed that Porter had a spirited debate during halftime. It wasn't your typical locker room discussion, though. Porter lost his cool to the point where Silas felt it was best for the team and its culture to suspend him for the day's game. The journey begins. Now, let's rewind a bit to understand the journey that led Kevin Porter Jr. to the NBA. 
It's a story of resilience and determination. When he was four years old, tragedy struck. His father, no relation to Kevin Porter of the 70s and 80s NBA, was tragically killed by gunfire in a South Seattle bar. His mother became the rock of his life, and it was clear early on that he had some serious skills on the court. That smooth left-handed shot and his jaw-dropping athleticism set him apart. His high school coach, Mike Bethia, who also coached Porter's father, played a pivotal role in his development. They faced their share of challenges. Porter Jr. was suspended more than once, but the bond between coach and player grew stronger. His talents eventually led him to being named Mr. Basketball in Washington by the State Coaches Association. The journey brought him to USC, where he faced injuries injuries, questionable behavior, and flashes of brilliance. But amidst all the noise, he listened to those who doubted his maturity and readiness for the NBA. He made a promise to himself to fulfill his potential, which currently hangs on the line. The Trade Talks Amid this ongoing investigation, the Rockets have been shopping around Porter, offering draft compensation to any team willing to take him on. And yes, there are a few teams that showed some interest, but no concrete deal has ever materialized. But this was not unlike the Oklahoma City Thunder swooped in. Houston Rockets general manager Raphael Stone made it crystal clear during his team's media day that as soon as those allegations hit the headlines, he put his foot down. Stone's words were straightforward. He could not be a part of the Houston Rockets. And true to his word, Porter is no longer part of the Rockets team. The Rockets sent Kevin Porter Jr. packing, getting Victor Oladipo and Jeremiah Robinson Earl in return. The Thunder, on the other hand, snagged a couple of future second round picks in the deal. Seems like your typical trade, but not quite. The Thunder didn't waste any time. They immediately waived Porter, leaving him without a team. Now, here's the kicker. Porter's behavior has been a cause for concern, and it's putting his entire NBA career in jeopardy. This move by the Thunder, while strategic for them in terms of draft assets and finances, it's also a clear indication of how they take player conduct. You see, the league has the power to void contracts under the domestic violence policy, but the Thunder will still have to cough up $16.9 million guaranteed in Porter's contract, even after letting him go. Porter, a player who has spent the last three seasons with the Rockets, showcased his skills as a starter, averaging an impressive 19.2 points per game in the 2022-23 season. But now, with his uncertain future in the league, those numbers might be a distant memory. With Porter currently without a team, the NBA has lost a young talent that has shown promise. He has played four NBA seasons, with the last three being with the Rockets, where he really started to shine. But his journey in the league is now at a crossroads. You see, sometimes you have to cut ties. People, even the talented ones, will tell you who they are. It's clear the NBA won't be able to take disciplinary action against him once he is out of the league, unless he makes a comeback at some point. This uncertainty leaves us all wondering, will we see Kevin Porter Jr. suit up for an NBA game again? Now, speaking of life-changing events, don't forget to watch our next video. We dive deep into the shocking story of Mikey Williams and how a single event changed the trajectory of his career.